Welcome back guys to more adventure of Lara Croft the toughest female video game character that I know so let us see what kind of adventure that she has in store for us so last time we were continuing off on the pirate ship or the Byzantine war gallery as you call it and we're trying to do this optional quest you could say or path so right now, let's see if I have better luck jumping to that big glacier boulder. So I remember getting up here. There you go, good girl. All right, let's see. There you go! There you go! You just smashed that into pieces! Yes! I did it. Oh, you did it? Now what? You just drop down? Okay. Just go slowly. Should be able to climb those oars. Wow, aren't you a smart girl? You always do something crazy like that. Just what I expected. Now that part is kind of impossible. You could run up in mid-air? Come on. When I had to climb a wall, I had to start from the ground and run up. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do in mid-air. I just don't know how she does that. Hopefully the game reveals her acrobatic background, like her gymnastic or something. Because I highly doubt a lot of people could do this. Alright, so where am I supposed to go? way around here to move it. That's crazy. You gotta move that whole ship by yourself. Here goes for nothing. What the fuck is this? There you go, there you go. Got it. Now to find out what's up there. Okay, now you got it. Now you got it. After so many tries. Well, I, I guess the... The old saying, try, try again. You'll succeed. I guess that actually works. But damn. She could have died on so many occasions. I know you're just supposed to live life to the fullest and enjoy it, but not like death on every corner. That's just crazy. You can have death on some corners, but not every corner. Yeah, that's just really crazy. Alright, that's just... that was just stupid. Alright, so I'm guessing we were just supposed to jump to... That ledge over there? I think, but what, what was the point of that? That's why I don't get. Alright, I could have went from there instead. That would have been much easier. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. If I'm taking a little too long on these parts. Saw the pros might have already gotten past that. Quick. Not really Laura Croft myself. Oh, shit. Go fast, go fast. There you go, good girl. I could shimmy, but not to this crazy point. Yeah. So let's see, where are we supposed to go? I could go up. Right, let's try this one. No, I don't think we're supposed to go up there. We're supposed to go here. There you go. Grab some Look coins. 
Why were they carrying so much wealth with them? Wow, even if you get to this wealth, how are you gonna take everything home? <laughs> Can't really take everything home. Let me see what they got. <gasps> A book? This codex details the archery techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire. Quickly shoot up to two successive arrows without delay of redrawing from the quiver. Rapid arrows by quickly pressing and releasing L mouse or left mouse after arrow is first shot. I guess knowledge is power after all, so that's a good thing. Now we gotta learn some cool techniques. But can't take any treasure home. Too bad. It's done. We'll, we'll die, die here. Thanks to Coraldus and the madness of the Order of Trinity. My ship will never see water again. We entered the glacial sea too far into the winter. Would have been turned back, but Coraldus would not abandon this lost prophet. He and his dead-eyed warriors seized control. He forced the ship through shallow tributaries until we could go no further. Then he made my crew construct sled runners, and the bastard forced us to tow the ship over land. It was death and excommunication to deny him. But it was death either way. I will make sure he dies here with us. I've always kept a little poison at the ready in case the ship was taken. Now, it has another use. Wow. What a jerk, Ooh, but I don't know why the captain and his crew followed some idiot. <laughs> Guess it's one of those thirsty dictators or conquerors, like, for wealth. I'm glad he died here. <laughs> Alright, so where can we go from here? Let's see. Can't take all this wealth with you. Because, Laura Croft, you are rich as hell, so you don't really need any of this. Yeah, Laura Croft is actually really rich. According to her bio, her father, her mansion, you know, you can see it. Let's go down here. Alright, alright. What am I supposed to do? Alright, there you go. But it's rare for rich people to, you know, risk life like this. And you don't really gain nothing but knowledge and, and just understanding of the world. Let's just go down and see what's up. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Oh. Run, 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 run! Alright, so we're gonna use the ice pick again. Run, 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 run! Come on! There you go, you good girl. Hopefully there's no wampas in here, like in the Star Wars movies, the wampas and the glaciers. Hopefully that's not real. So we're, I guess... There you go. All these jumps are like so difficult. Like, it could be a matter of life and death in any second. They're not like really easy, easy jumps, in my opinion. Or leaps. So I guess we have to take a swim again. Alright, that... Shit, shit, shit. I don't want to die here. Oh shit, almost died. Almost died. Heal up. So I guess this clothing has a chance of not using any materials for the for healing up. So I guess that's a good thing. All right. So pick up this. What's, what's this? He's passed through the lands of the Rus. I cannot shake the feeling that he's.
taunting me, waiting until I'm a day's ride away before moving on. I will not be home before the winter as I hoped. I've stopped at a small village by a glassy lake they called Svedloyar. The prophet spoke here, and now the villagers refuse me lodging. I slept on the banks of the lake, where a young man bearing a crude version prophet's icon tried to kill me as I dozed. I made an example of him, and now the people fix me with the evil eye, spit at me as I pass. I must move on soon. His sickness spreads. Okay, I guess someone is trying to follow the prophet's people for wealth or power. That's mostly it. Yeah, people usually go raid these ancient tombs and stuff like that and go after these myth because they want power and wealth. That's usually the case. But you, Laura's in it for the knowledge, I guess. For his dad. Or for her dad, yeah. So let's jump up. I don't know where's Jonah at. He's supposed to be with him most of the time. Since they're pals. At least we got a campfire to warm us up. Oh shit. I'm not your enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. I hope I can prove that to you. What's De going on down Definitely there? we are on the same side. Who? He's vanished. Because they are clearly wearing the same outfit. Almost the same outfit. So, there are people who live out here. And they appear to have been here for a very long time. Living in isolation for decades, maybe even centuries. I notice elements of her dress. Small adornments that would not have been out of place in the Byzantine Empire. Possibly descendants of the Prophet's people. How much do they know about the lost city or the divine source? It's clear Trinity will do anything to find out. I'm afraid that whoever they are, they're in grave danger. Let's hope the old proverb about the enemy of my enemy remains true. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's a popular saying. Alright, so I don't think we can really upgrade anything right now. So we're actually pretty good here with the resources. Region summary. Damn, I kind of missed quite a few of the tombs and the, and the collectibles. Oh well, well, we'll backtrack to them if we have time. Anything up here? Nope. Space. There you go. Going on a joyride here. What's this? Nope. I wonder what's up here. Wow. Fucking climb like a pro or something. I don't know what was the purpose of climbing that tree. I'm guessing it's supposed to get all the way up here again. But I just want to see for myself. Alright, there's really no purpose for that. It was just extra. 
I guess the map is open to free roam after we're done with it, like the other <laughs> Lara Croft game that I see people play. Alright, so... I'm guessing this is an open world game because you can go back pretty much anywhere. Oh, I killed the rabbit. Sorry, little rabbit. I need to survive. Can I pick up the rabbit? Yes, I could. Nothing I can do for him now. He's dead. How could you do anything? Unless you could give him life. Just got word. Constantine is on his way down from the prison. We're gearing up. I was on the first flight to Siberia to secure the old Soviet installation now. More arriving every minute. Constantine gave a speech to the new boots and I stayed in the back to watch. Love hearing him speak. Never gets old. I was never much for believing, but it was just words before this. It's something more, it's truth. I was broken once. But Trinity is making us whole again. Giving giving us a purpose, a new world awaits. Even those who don't believe will have a part to play. Need to get this mess in order before he arrives. All right, I want to stealth through this part. I really hey, don't want to. Can anyone hear me? God damn it, we got to get comms back up. I really don't want to fight everyone in a stupid gunfight and get myself killed, so. There you go. Never seen anything like that. Crazy son of a bitch. Rushing three armed men with an axe? I don't know how they managed to take one of them alive. Who the hell are these people? Initial recon said there was an old village up in these mountains, but they expected farmers. Thought they'd surrender without firing a shot. Farmers? Shit. These are trained guerrilla fighters. It looks like they drove the Soviets out of here. Might be a good sign. If they're protecting something hidden in the mountain, then we're in the right place. So, do you know what it is we're after? No, it's neat to know for the rank and file, but it's gotta be important. They don't usually run ops this big. Been in the field for less than a year. Nothing's come close to this. We haven't had an operation this big since the island. But that was a cleanup job. Now this is something else entirely. You want some advice? Keep your head down. Don't ask too many questions. You hear that? I'll go look. Understood. Oh shit! Shit, there you go. I'm not really good with killing guys at a quick pace, you know. I don't really have good timing. I could do it slowly, but not fast. So I was kind of nervous. But at least I killed him. Got some arrows back. Alright. Anything around here I could use? Trees. I guess we can't take that distraction bottle with us. So we'll just leave it here. There might be more later on. There you go. There's more of them arriving. I am not going in combat with the crazy bow and arrow. That's gonna get me killed. There's just too many guys. But I guess I have to drop down sooner or later. 
scramble between concealment bushes or cover. I don't know if I could do stealth or anything, but hopefully I could. <laughs> I lure one at the time, so no need to attempt something crazy. In the bushes, there you go. Alright, alright. I want to do the stealth. I really don't want to go in in a gunfight. You know, I don't really have any good weapons. And it looks better stealth, you know. In real life, you know, you can't really take on guys gun blazing, so. I'm going to go up there and observe more. See what's up. Hopefully I don't get caught. Well, the guys are looking through over there, so... If there's another bush I could hide, that would be cool. As far as I'm concerned, I'm doing good on stealth right now. I could throw this lamp on them, but that won't be stealthy, you know, they'll know I'm there, so better to do this safe and get home alive. I hope that guy's up there doesn't see me killing him. I love going stealth. There you go. There you go, stealth kill. Stealth is just way more awesome than just gun blazing. Unless gun blazing, you have to have a strategy. There you go. You're dead, man. I wish Laura would have a, at least a combat knife with her so you could stab those guys to death. Fuck, this video is running kinda long. 
But I don't want to spoil the fun for you guys. Pick up a bottle. I don't think I could see the enemy from here. Do you see anything out by the fences? Nothing. But we didn't see the first ambush until they were already inside. They knew the layout of this place. Shit. This was supposed to be a routine op. The path is never easy. The Trinity expects us to walk it all the same. There you go. Alright! Stealthy! I killed everyone without alerting them. That's the way it makes life so much easier. So much easier. Alright! So guys, we're gonna stop it here for now. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. And hopefully you guys can still join me. Peace out everyone. Take care. That stealth was just awesome. That stealth.